chips on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains each horizon is a new beginning rise and rain romans 8 6 king james version for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace Hello fellow well shavers, Leroy here, you know me on Shaves Back with another shaving video. How is everybody? Hope you are all well. Um, just a quick little PSA. My phone holder is really garbage. It's This is like the sixth or seventh time I've tried attaching it to the mirror. So throughout the shave, I'm going to probably go in there and just try to reset it to make sure that it doesn't fall. All right. What is this shave about? It, it, I'm going to make an attempt to, to do these weekly. I've said that before apologize but I'm really getting back into the swing of things here and I, I really enjoyed the last video so and I really really appreciate those of you who, who commented uh really quick I need to give a shout out to um oh boy all right JT uh man what an inspiring message guys if you have not seen his comment go back read his comment I mean it's fantastic this guy was was category one obese I mean he started Working out three days a week uh, with weights, um, doing cardio a couple days a week, plus active rest days on the on the weekends. This dude's got it down pat. That's what you want to do. Full body workouts two or three times a week with weights. Um, always weights first. Muscle burns calories. So that's the way to do it. Anyways, dude, keep it up, JT. That, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay. What is this shave about? Um... I'm getting back into the swing of things with honing. I mentioned that in my last video. So yesterday, I spent the day from bevel set to 8K. And I'm going to see how these edges feel just off the 8K. I've, I've, I've done this in the past with an 8K, and I was able to get a decent shave. Not great. But um, this is one razor that I'm going to be using. This one has a little bit of a smile, so it's... I don't, I don't think I got the bevel set properly at the heel and the toe, um, but it's okay. I don't typically use that part to shape with, so we'll see how it goes. This razor actually won in like a little giveaway that was on one of the Facebook forums. Gosh, I don't, it's been at least four years, I think, at least. So, got this one. It's a nice little razor. Um, Ohio Farmer Cleveland, but then it says made in Germany. So I think this is like maybe 50s or 60s. Pretty nice look. I mean, because I think it's wood scales. Um, it, it's nice. It's nice. Okay, there's that one. We're gonna try out. Where should I put it? Second one. This one actually was given to me by Marion the Barbarian, which is pretty freaking cool. This one says uh, Burrell Cutlery Co. Elliot Elliotville, New York. So this is it right here. It's got a straight edge so a little bit easier to hone up so we'll see how this shaves again um yeah, this one it's got warped scales but it's okay i just have to pinch the back and it'll it'll go in i've, I've caught the edge of the scales a couple of times um i don't i haven't looked into how to fix warped scales but that's for another time and then i know these are not going to shave well so i got my trusty Gillette new long comb. I love this razor. Picked this up off eBay probably a good four or five years ago. Um, I think it was just 20 bucks. I have no idea how much they are now. <laughs> I don't tend to really look into that kind of stuff anymore. All right. For uh, shave gear, you guys can see from the thumbnail what I'm going to be using. But I thought I would kind of just kind of continue the theme of unobtainium. Uh, this, this is actually, I love this soap. Uh, the Golden Rib Kenya Rebrawl helped me get this soap. This is Soap Makers of Awesome Town from, um, Barrister and Man. I think this was the formula before the reserve, so it was kind of like one of their experimental formulas. And I just, I absolutely love the scent of this. It is fantastic. I have that, um, soaking right now with some blue water. Uh, brush, I am going with my Wolf Whiskers. Uh, you guys can see that right here. Hopefully. Yep. So I've got it soaking right now. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start getting everything together. Then we'll see how it goes. During the shave, I'll talk about my progression and stuff like that and kind of some issues that I ran into. All right. Enough jibber-jabber. Five minutes in and I haven't even started. All right. 
Blue water on the face. Hmm, interesting. It didn't loosen up much soap. Normally, the blue water is pretty slick, but not this time. I hope that's not a bad sign. <laughs> All right. I haven't used this soap in quite some time, so it kind of um, shrunk a little bit. And it pulled away from the edges, so I'm going to have water underneath there, so I'm going to have to try to work that out. Okay. Alright, just uh, getting my brush warmed up a little bit here. Alright, let's go in. Alright, so I've done a video in the past on my honing setup. So basically for my bevel setter, I have a Shafton 1.5. Um, you know, at the time of looking for my bevel setter, it was... Uh, budget's always a, a concern, right? Um, so I think for the cost of that versus the quality, I think it worked out pretty good. I basically um, went from Keith Johnson's advice on one of his videos. Um, he It was that in the Chosera 1K. But the 1K, I mean, was a little bit, at the time, was more expensive than the Shafton 1.5. So they're almost equivalent, I guess. But it works, so... So that's my bevel setter. The uh, intermediate, I have a uh, Naniwa Gokin 4K and 8K. Uh, that 4K is actually pretty impressive. It can remove material pretty quick. I, I was I forgot how how fast it could do that. And then the 8K. Um, I think from everything that I've, all the reviews and stuff and the research I've done, it behaves more like a 10K, but it's, it's, it's really, it's like honing on glass, it's really strange, it's really hard. I don't know how to explain it. All right, let me rinse this off. Or rinse the puck, sorry. Oh, and uh, I forgot I have coffee. I can't remember if I brought it up in a video before, um, but I'm a huge, huge fan of the Grinch. So I've got my trusty little uh, Grinch tumbler here that I bought it around Christmas time. I know it's not Christmas, sue me. <clears throat> That's good coffee. All right, tastes like soap makers of awesome town. Yep, so um, one thing that, I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it, but one issue I have, and it makes no sense, is, uh, maybe it's going to be a little better, a little easier to describe in a minute, but let me, while I'm building up my ladder, let me talk about my, uh, this past week and my uh, attempts at getting back into exercise and whatnot. Well... So last Monday I went to the gym and it was great. It's I have not um, lifted weights in a very, very long time. Um, my uh, previous workouts have all been body weight stuff. Because of my traveling, I was heavy, heavy into body weight workouts, which are fantastic. But I need a change, right? It's always good to ch change up your workout routine every four to six weeks you should make some sort of change whether it's a different exercise different tempo something should change right maybe you instead of doing like a five by five maybe you go like an eight by twelve right so 
you can even just do a small change like that even just a tempo like a tempo is you know how fast the weight goes up and how fast you let it go down you know the negative part the the i think they call it the concentric i always forget the part where you're drop lowering the weight um a four second negative is actually really good for muscle building it's hard you're gonna have to oh shoot lessen the weight quite a bit right but that's just one way of changing things up a bit well anyways i want to start body or uh weight lifting again you know so uh I found a really good program that I, I, I think will work really, really well for me. I went to the gym on Monday. I didn't half-ass anything, but at the same time, I didn't go balls out. I uh, kind of getting the feel for the exercises and in, in, in my weights. It went really well. I was a tiny bit sore the next day, which is okay. You don't want to be too sore. But, um, but man, that night I broke my freaking toe. Uh, I don't, still not 100%, 100% sure how I did it, but man, it, it hurts. Uh, and so I haven't been back to the gym since. Um, I'm going to try to go today. We'll see how it goes. All right. Let's see. If, oh man, it just, man, 11 minutes in and I haven't done any knife to the face yet stuff. All right. All right, so this we're gonna go with this guy first. We'll see how it feels. First pass with the grain. Oh, hey. Obviously, I'm not gonna get close. But man, that's actually it feels pretty good. Mustache struggles a little bit. Yeah, pretty tuggy. Not too bad though. Alright, let's see. Try to get to the chin and see how it feels. Almost. Yeah, for me, the chin and the and the stash, that's how I know if the edge is just right. Okay, that's not too bad for uh for 8k. I doubt stropping it more would give it more. But I went um 21 passes. I I, <laughs> I mentioned it before, I'm I do things in sevens, it's just how I am. All right, we'll try this one. And all, in theory, it should feel about the same. Oh, I missed my left hand. <laughs> Shoot. All right, let me just see how it goes in the stash. About the same. Yeah, it's a little bit rough here. But that's probably not too bad. Not too bad. All right, I gotta practice with the left a little bit here, okay? Hold on. You, you guys will see how my left hand just doesn't want to do, do what I want it to do. Good thing is I got consistent results, so that's good. Okay, I call that good. 
while I uh, go ahead and I'll just touch up with the uh, Gillette. All right, where's it at? Right here. Yep, so one thing that's kind of strange that I, I don't know how it happens, but I do a combination of a bunch of different types of strokes. So I do the half stroke, the X stroke. Um, and the stroke, something is really weird. So the stroke where I'm, I'm coming towards me, right? For some reason, that side of the razor doesn't seem to hone as fast as the other. Something's funky with my pressure. And I, I can't, I haven't been able to figure it out yet. I would like to be able to record it, but man, I don't have a, I don't have a good setup for that yet. But yeah, I think there's something that's really strange with my pressure on that, on that to me stroke. But I haven't been able to figure it out. And I, I just looking back, I've noticed that in the past. So my, my judge is the undercut. And I'm, I'm using less water now than I have in the past. Because you have a lot of water on there, it's really easy to get a good undercut, right? Man, this stuff smells good. So then also, I mean, if you have too much water, then it's acting more like a lubricate, a lube, then, you know, just a means of gliding it. So too much water won't cut enough or cut fast enough, I should say. So I'm trying to be consistent now with using little water. And it really gives me a good judge on the undercut now, I think. And yeah, I mean, I can get, it's really strange. So like my stroke away from me, the undercut, oh, I mean, just, the water will just right up on top of the, the blade. And then when I come back and do the, do the swipe towards me, it's still, it's still pushing the water and it doesn't quite ride up onto the, to the edge of the blade, right? Um, so I, I, sorry guys, hold on. <laughs> Apologies. So I, I find myself having to, do a few more strokes on that side. I don't know what that's a, I don't know if it's the facing side or what. I don't know those terms very well yet, but that's just kind of a, something that I noticed yesterday when I was going through these two razors. And it happened on every stone. Only thing common between all three stones is me, right? Um, I don't think it's my lapping. My lapping is pretty good. And then I'm always in the habit of rotating the stone as well as I'm honing. So, uh, yeah. Strange. The other thing that I have an issue with is, you know, kind of like torquing the the edge into the stone. Um, I'm still playing with the right pressure because I tend to lift up the spine a little bit and then uh, the edge goes right into the freaking stone. So if anybody watches this and you've got some advice, I'm all ears. Oh, I forgot to say what blade is in here. It's a, it's a Kai. I like these blades. They're not as sharp as I remember them. But 
they still work pretty good to me. I'm just gonna do some cleanup right now. So I wanna try to make it super close. Tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, my older daughter. So we're gonna go out, have uh, have lunch. We're going to one of the um, Brazilian steakhouses. That's all carnivore, baby. Yeah. My diet this week has been okay. Um, my wife kind of tricked me a little bit. There's a a Filipino dish. I call it pork adobo, but there's another word for it. I don't know. So you guys have heard of. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of um, chicken adobo. Well, it's the same thing, but with pork. But the pork one, I didn't quite realize this, but she put sugar in it, and it kind of messed me up. I know now whenever I have sugar, I crash hard. I really do. I'm not used to all that sugar anymore. I think that's a pretty good shave. 21 minutes. I'm sorry, everybody. If you hung out this long, I pre I really appreciate it. I'll clean up. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to try to get it as close as possible for our lunch tomorrow. Yeah, right now is uh, around 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Sunday. I don't want to waste this soap, so I'm going to go ahead and do the old Katie Shays face wash. Well, not the face wash, but just this one. Oh, I love the scent of this. It's a good soap, too. All right, clean out the brush really quick. So next with these two razors, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take it to the 12K that I have, and then I'm gonna shave again and see how it goes. I need a baseline on, on 12K synthetic since it's um, a very more it's more consistent than going to JNAT. So we'll see how it feels. Let me uh, rinse this off. <clears throat> Oh, did you guys watch Johan's last video? <laughs> Poor guy had to go on a work trip and he basically forgot everything that he needs for work except his shaving gear. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it happens. It happens. All right, let me do a quick little recap. I didn't get all the soap. Oh, man, I forgot my coffee. Sorry. All right. So let me just a uh, quick little recap. My Wolf Whiskers brush, fantastic brush. Oh, this has a um, the golden nib knot in there. It's a twenty-four millimeter. I, I, I over the past few years, I've decided I like twenty-six better. <laughs> uh, two razors uh, from bevel set all the way to my eight K. They did pretty well. I think the edge is good enough to continue on. So at least, and they're both consistent. So I, I've got to dry these up. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that. I tried to um, tighten up this pin a little bit, but it didn't really help too much. Maybe I need to try a little harder. We'll see. And then here's this one. Pretty good. This is, um, I think they call it full hollow. Maybe half hollow. No, it's probably more than that. I don't know. Uh, oh, and... Um, a little bit of unobtainium. Hey, I didn't ask. So if you guys stuck around this long, list below what kind of unobtainium you guys have. Whether it's 
a soap maker that's no longer in business or a soap that will probably uh, a scent that scent or formula that just won't be made again. It'd be kind of cool to hear what what all you guys have in your in your in your den. Oh, one thing I do like about this though, look at that. April Fool. Go ahead and uh, pause it if you like. You can read it, hopefully. <laughs> Pretty cool. I, I really, really like this. And I, I liked, I really love the theme behind it too. All right. That's my shave, everybody. Oh, and touch up with this guy. Love this razor. I've been using this a lot. This one and my supply, I've been using quite a bit. All right. That's my shave, everybody. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with the edges. Not. I won't go back to the drawing board. I I may go back to the 8K just to kind of clean up the edge a tiny bit and then go to the 12K and then see where we're at. Um, I, I do know what's going to be a comfortable shave for me is um, the hanging hair test, right? And I think I think I need to be able to get it to an HHT5, which basically is the the hair is probably probably more like a half an inch from your finger, and as it just touches the blade ping, you know you hear that maybe a pop and it just and the hair just kind of jumps away that's that's kind of what i'm aiming for um i can do the violins all day long and it's not a comfortable shave it's probably i didn't even do the hht on these razors i should have oh well it's okay all right that's my shave everybody i'm gonna stop talking sorry 26 minutes apologize all right everybody as always keep looking up don't text and drive god bless each and every one of you thanks again Bye bye